Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I have three Lego pullback motors right here, and I'm, I'm going to be showing you like how they work. Um, and also, I'm going to be taking part one at the end, so if you want to see the insides of a Lego pullback motor and see what they look like and stuff, just make sure to stay tuned until the end. And one more thing, I have, also have a join button down below my channel, so it's by the subscribe button, and if you want to help support my channel, um, you can always do that, but yeah, so let's get into it. These are the three pullback motors right here. Um, it goes from oldest to newest. Um, this one right here, I, it came on one of my newer sets, so um, it, it should be the pretty, a pretty new one, unless Lego made another one. Um, but I think this is the, mo the newest one. Um, and there's also this one, which is pretty similar to the newest one, but it's uh, made out of bricks. And it, well, it's got studs on it instead of Technic bricks. Um, and then, this one's pretty uh, small. It's just a, it's just meant to have like normal Lego tires on it. If you can kind of see that there. Um, it's only got spots for tires, which is different than these ones that use axles. Um, but yeah, th these are what these three motors look like. So let me show you them like closer up. Okay, so this is the smallest motor right here. Um, it's just the one with the two wheels like I pointed out a second ago. Um, so it's in dark, the old dark gray. With the other motors, you can kind of see how it's a different color. This is the newest color, this gray. Well, it's like dark bluish gray is this one, and then this one's just dark gray. Um, but with, um, you can kind of see that one's got a screw right there, and I think a little pin right there to open up. Uh, but the weird thing about this one, since it's these pieces, it no would normally slide, but you might be able to tell that it's got two little right there on it, well, right there on it, these, these two little sides that um, just poke out of it. And those latch into two little notches on these so that these won't slide when it pulls back. Um, they only work on newer tires though um, because the older ones are just a circle and they don't have those little lips or whatever they are. I don't really know what they are but those little pokey out parts. Um, so they only work on newer tires but there's another problem for some reason if I put these on you have to line them up good to put them on though. Um, let's Oh crap, this is, they're hard to put on, I guess. Okay, there we go. I got that one on. And then if I put another one on, like that, um, they still spin separately from each other, it, which, is be, which isn't because of the white parts right here. Well, it's not because of the, like, the tire slipping in there. It's because the middle of the white, the middle of the white pieces is actually twistable, because I can twist them both the opposite way like that. Very weird. <laughs> that is a problem with this, so you can't really pull it back very well if you want to pull it back. Uh, so if I put these back on, like that, and I pull it back, it still pulls back pretty good, but I mean, like, if you do, like, one tire, it doesn't, like, pull back at all. Uh, but if you do two, it works pretty well. Uh, but yeah, this is the smaller motor. So the, with the medium motor, um, it connects with studs just like this one, well, just like the other one pretty much. Um, which is kind of nice if you just want to incorporate into normal builds, but this one also has Technic, so also nice if you want to incorporate it into Technic, so it kind of does both. Um, but this one, it's like a train, uh, it's like a clearish plastic for the axle part, it probably just looks like white on the camera, but I think it's, it's a little clear of a plastic. Um, you can kind of see this one only uses pins, no screws or anything to hold it in. Um, and this one just uses axles, so you don't have to worry about like the middle sliding thing with this one. Uh, so if I just slide like this axle through, and then I put like this one, like a wheel like this on this side, uh, I can pull back, and it should pull back. Yeah, I can just do this way. Whoa, whoa. Um, if I do it like this, you can kind of see. Um, with this motor, it doesn't last very long because at the very start, it does like a ton of power, and then it's like dies out pretty fast. So that's why this one doesn't last long, as you probably see there, it's like, zhoo. but if you have a bigger tire on it, it works better, but, uh, yeah, so this is, like, what the medium motor looks like, what it does, so let me show you the big one. For the newest motor, um, it's just got a yellow spot, it's got a yellow spot right there, it's made out of, like, Technic, so it's pretty hard to, like, incorporate into, like, regular, um, like, brick built, uh, Lego things, like, Lego builds. Uh, this one... You, it takes apart. You can take it apart with screws. There's just four screws right there, so this one doesn't use tabs, which makes it a lot easier to open up. Um, 
But this one, you can kind of see the pullback part, right? You kind of hear is bigger than the other ones. So you can kind of see it's slightly bigger than this one, I'm pretty sure. And then it's both of the both of these newer ones are definitely bigger than the small one. Um, but this one, it tends to last longer than this one, but not give as much power at the beginning as it. But um, yeah, so if we put um, a wheel in the middle, we put a wheel down, a wheel down it, and then twist it up. So let's do that real quick. So if I roll this back, this one takes a lot more to roll up too, like a lot longer than the other ones. So if I rolled up there, you can kind of see it last a while. Um, well, it's not too long because the wheel's so small, but it still lasts a, a little while. But this one, if you have it on a car, it'll go further than uh, this one if you have it on a car. So I'm gonna open up the smallest motor. If you want to see like the bigger one of the bigger motors get like opened once the insides of them, make sure to like let me know in the comments so that I might make like another video on those, mate, possibly. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's open this up. So I have a super small screwdriver. You can kind of see what small it is, and. I just stick it back there's one screw and maybe a clip on this I'm not entirely sure so hopefully I can get that open I've never opened this so I have no clue what's gonna happen hopefully I don't break it because that would be bad okay screws out and then I have no clue how to open this so I, I cannot figure out how to open this it's got a tab or something right there but I don't know how to like open it or anything so I'm just gonna open up this one right here the newest one so if you come to the comments to open up one of these, I guess you're just getting it right now. Uh, but if you know how to open this one, make sure to comment that because I have no clue how to open that. Um, but yeah, so let's open the big one, I guess now. So there's four screws that I need to do. And those are really tight screws. Let's, okay. Well, I guess they're not too tight. They're pretty tight to do. Okay. So I finally got it open. The screws were actually really tight in there. I don't know why, but um, well, I finally got all the screws off. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I'm sliding my fingernail around. Okay, let's pop it off and see what happens. Whoa, what the? It's a lot of gears. Um, so this chunk right here must be like the. Uh, well, this is the little chamber where the axle goes this is very weird um the actual motor is back here somewhere i think all these gears are like greased or something because my fingers that feel like slippery i don't know but um i don't oh okay i can't think of what the crap it's like a metal coil i guess that's how it pulls back but if you look at that that is very weird that is what the inside of a pullback motor looks like so if you're wondering, there you go. Okay, yeah, so it's it for the video. Um, the motor, um, I put it back together, it works and everything now. Well, it works and everything again, but um, uh, uh, I didn't want it to break, so it still works and everything back together. Um, there, there was like some sort of like grease or something in there to make the gears run better because I saw like white like stuff around the gears. Really weird, but um, washed it off and now my hands are fine now. But um, yeah, but as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell.